brand, again, our foundation was built on approachability, um, non-pretentiousness, laid back. I mean, we're, it's a laid back place. I mean, if you ever come visit us in our tap room or meet any of the guys who work here, guys and girls, we're a pretty laid back bunch. And I'd say that that level stays pretty consistent with what we do. Um, that doesn't mean we don't work our tails off to make a great product and do all the things we have to do. It's just we're, we're, we want to be approachable and we want to be a place where people have fun. We want to make a product they have fun with, right? Non-pretentiousness, straightforward, casual, inviting. You know, this to us, this is our house and we're, we will invite anybody to our house and we'll have some good beers and we'll have a good time. And when you're ready to leave, you can leave and um, we hope you come back. That's kind of where we're at. Our current tap room with our expansion will allow us to move a lot of our current equipment to our new facility next door. And the entirety of the room we, we currently have is our tap room that's mostly production. will become tap room space that we'll use for more fun with the community, more opportunity for people to have events down here. Um, we'll have games, we'll have neat new experiences that you can have in our tap room. So enjoy our beer, have some fun stuff. The other cool thing with the change in the liquor law is you now are welcome to bring your children in here. Um, we're also extremely pet friendly. If you watch any of our social media, we have a Dogs of Instagram and Dogs of Anthem that, uh, that takes up probably half as much of the humanity at this point in this building. But it's just nice to have an opportunity where if you guys you want to bring the crew down here and have a good time, we'll have the space to do it. And uh, I, I think you'll be surprised. So with the number one federal level is a Sour Dark Primo. Uh, nine times out of ten, a lot of people were like, what is a Sour Dark Primo? Well, it's exactly how it sounds. It's a dark beer, a little sour, a little creamy, a little bit of everything in there. Um, it was a small batch beer that we did with uh, Red Earth Brewing Company. Number two, Mangoza, which gets pronounced as Mangoose nine times out of ten. Barrel aged Mango Goza. I believe it was aged in uh, French oak barrels. Um, it's a low point beer. It's a, maybe a little tart, but it's also with a mango that we throw into the barrel with that makes it pretty pretty tasty and everything. It's not like overbearing. Uh, the OKO OK we just came out like a week ago. Uh, it's smooth, light, uh, maybe kind of creamy, depends on your palate and everything like that. Uh, it's a short, small batch brew that we did. Um, just an oatmeal stout. The farmhouse, I had a husband come in the other day. It's a Chardonnay barrel aged beer. So we had it set probably about three to six months or so. And then we finally kegged it. And it's been on tap for a little while now, like two or like two months. Uh, a lot of husbands who come in here, they're always just trying to figure out like what's going to be best for their wife, who prefers wine or ciders. I always direct them towards that because it's aged in Chardonnay with barrels. It tastes kind of sim similar to Chardonnay almost. The Ogle Toberfest, uh, that's our Lost Ogle collab that we've done for like the last four years. But we've been doing that for a while now. It's just a Vienna style lager. It goes down just as simple as a lager would, but obviously Oktoberfest twist to it. Um, I personally think that it goes down super simple, easy. The Ride or Die Double IPA, which I'm drinking right now, it's, um, it's uh, what I like to think is like our best winter seasonal. We release it every November, then we normally kind of wrap it up around March. Uh, it's a rye malt, Pacific, West Coast hops. And uh, it's not crazy bitter or anything that, like most people would think an IPA would be. Uh, it's crisp, it's got a lot of flavor, kind of like some citrusy stuff going in there and everything like that. Plus the can just so badass. Can I, can I say that? And then the, uh, the Goza is just a simple Goza with pink Himalayan sea salt that we blended into it this year. It's just a simple sour that we have on tap. What we like to do here really for the tap room Right now we only have 12 on tap, different styles, but we try and do a little bit of every little thing that we can for the tap room. And my dream personally is, you know, like we're making history right now and I want to try and make the tap room and our brewery the best in the state, if, you know, maybe the world someday. And uh, my, my whole goal right now is move from 12 to 16 to 18 taps, if not 24 by this time next year. And that way we can have tons of different styles, tons of different restaurants and bars can pick them up. Uh, like our 15 barrel batch system we'll still be using even though we're installing a new 30 barrel batch. That's going to be mostly for our core beers, but for the small batch stuff we'll be, still be using our original system. Uh, who knows what we're going to come up with. So I think what's best about our brewery is like, you know, even once we're through with renovations, we're still going to have that whole atmosphere 
for the tap room being still slash a brewery. Be on the lookout for random and fun things basically coming from the tap room like in the next few months. Our biggest thing is we love making this stuff and the reason why we love it is so people drink it. And if we can get it more places for people to enjoy it and more you know, Thunder games, sporting events, uh, college football games, you name it, um, we'll, we'll have the ability to do so. So I'd say for us that's that's the immediate future. Again, some of the stuff we're working on inherently for us in the tap room too we're excited about just because an entirely new kind of home base for us to have more people over. Like I said, we treat it like our home. so. Having more people over to the house and enjoying what we're working on, having a good time together, showing off their dogs, we're into it. So we can't wait for more of that. And um, like I said, hopefully more people come down and, and join us up. We're having a good time.